Most people must have seen this type of astronaut suit. The helmet or the visor of this suit is quite special. As you can see in this image, the other astronaut taking the photo is visible on the visor like it's a mirror. But you can't see the face of the astronaut wearing the visor. Why astronaut visor looks like a mirror? Let's look at some concepts which will help us in understanding about the astronaut visor. When a beam is incident on a homogeneous material, some of the radiation is reflected and the remainder penetrates into the material. If the material is optically thick and a strong absorber, no radiation may penetrate into the medium and would be converted into internal energy of the body. This absorption mechanism increases the temperature of the body. On the other hand, if the material is not optically thick enough to absorb all the radiation, a significant fraction of it would be transmitted through the body. Gold is a good example for this behavior. Bulk gold is a strong absorber. However, a gold film coating on a polycarbonate plastic is semi-transparent at visible wavelengths. So, astronaut visor is mainly made up of a layered version of gold and polycarbonate plastic. But why this multi-layered material? Let's look at some properties of gold and the polycarbonate plastic. If you see gold has a refractive index of 0.27 and also reflects visible and infrared radiation whereas polycarbonate plastic has a refractive index of 1.5 and it is kind of semi-transparent to visible radiation. These properties are very important optical properties for an astronaut visor. Let's see how the visor protects the astronaut from harmful space radiations. This is a multi layered material having polycarbonate plastic with a thin film of gold on the top. When radiation from space falls on the gold layer, it only allows some amount of radiation in the visible range to pass and reflects all the other infrared and harmful radiations. Now since this gold layer is very thin, it does not absorb all the visible light and some portion of it pass to the plastic layer. As we have seen that plastic is a semi-transparent material to visible light, it enters the visor and further reaches the astronaut eyes and he can see the objects outside in the space. Now why the visor looks like a mirror and we can't see the astronaut face? The light reflected from the astronaut face inside the visor first enters the plastic layer. but light from plastic medium cannot easily enter the gold layer. Let's see why. According to Snell's law, when light travels from a medium of higher refractive index to a lower refractive index, if it is incident at a, the interface at an angle less than the critical angle, then light can easily pass to the other medium. But if the incidence angle is greater than the critical angle, then light is reflected back to the same medium due to a phenomena known as total internal reflection. So in the case of a visor also, since refractive index of plastic is very high than gold and light travels from plastic to the gold film, very less light can pass to the gold layer and further out of the visor. Due to the large amount of light coming from the sun and getting reflected from the gold surface on the visor and in comparison to it very less light is able to come out from inside the visor reflected from the astronaut face gives a mirror look to the astronaut visor and the astronaut face is not visible to the person outside. If you like this video kindly like and subscribe and keep watching for more interesting videos.